During his remarks on the floor, Terry said Father Edward Flanagan created a boys' home without regard to race or beliefs. Two years ago, the Archdiocese of Omaha began the process of nominating him for sainthood. Tonight, KMTV Action 3 News reporter Megan Matthews has an update live. Megan. Craig, it's a lengthy process to become a saint, one that isn't finished. The end result here is to prove Father Flanagan lived a life of sainthood. This cause is looking to wrap up on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day of 2015. That's three years to the day that the cause was open. It's the miracle Omaha has been praying for. And Father Flanagan is on trial for his life right now in this tribunal. He really is. At Boys Town, people already see him as a saint, but the canonization process for Father Edward Flanagan isn't finished yet. Our purpose is to collect, organize the writings of the servant of God, Father Flanagan. The material is then placed in a series of dossiers to be reviewed by the various tribunals. The Father Flanagan League Society of Devotion will make sure it's official. For the last two years, the journey to sainthood has been a time-consuming process. The completed dossiers we've completed so far are the religious writings of Father Flanagan, which included about four or 5,000 pages. Historians, Boys Town alumni, and tribunal delegates have been reviewing the many works of Father Flanagan. That first homeless boy showed up in 1917, and he took every kid that came. Father Flanagan founded Boys Town in 1917. It shaped the lives of thousands. For the better. The kids who were at Boys Town and under Father Flanagan's care directly, uh, and they move you with their stories of how uh, his intervention in their life was obviously life changing. The investigation must prove Father Flanagan lived a life of sainthood. The Vatican isn't just looking for paperwork, though, they want miracles, too. I'm very excited to announce this evening that we have two miracles, alleged miracles, that were reported to us on April 9th. In order to be considered for sainthood, the Vatican must verify two miracles. All of the information gathered in the investigation will be compiled into dossiers and sent to the Vatican. Live in the studio, Megan Matthews, KMTV Action 3 News. He did so much good. Thanks, Megan.